Hello, my name is Alexander. I'm 17 years old and I come from Slovenia. I want to share with you my story about visual snow. For those who don't know what visual snow is, I put a link uh, beneath my uh, video. Basically, my visual snow started in January 2013 when I once woke up. I started seeing halos, glare. Then during the day I started noticing doubling and double vision. Later that day I also got this strange... 3D effect when you look at patterns which are close together. Uh, uh, before I got visual snow, I had so-called allied symptoms, uh, which I got around at the age of 11. For example, I, g I started seeing um, floaters and uh, BVP when I was around 11 years old, going to t on 12. So basically, we can say that I haven't had normal visions for around 6 years now. I told you when I got visual snow it had um, a huge impact on my general well-being and on my school performance. It uh, really caused a lot of problems. As I said, uh, there are many possible causes of visual snow. For example, the most common cause is uh, migraines, of course, because uh, the vast uh, majority of people with visual snow have migraines. But there has been an increase of people in the last year who have visual snow but have no migraines. For example, some people got visual snow after taking antibiotics, some people with uh, Lyme disease get uh, visual snow, of course. But uh, there is also this group of people who got visual snow after smoking marijuana or DMT or uh, some other illegal substance, for example, which could trigger the visual snow. But you have to uh, be careful because um, if you got visual snow, or let's say visual static, uh, through uh, taking illegal drugs, you don't have visual snow. Uh, you have a so-called hallucinogen perceptive disorder or something like that. Um, there is also a link between um, uh, a deficiency in bit vitamin B12, but it's not yet been proven to be the cause, but it has helped some people. So. Uh, the thing I wanted to talk about to you today, to all the other VSers around, is to uh, tell you that you should donate a small amount of money to your um, to this uh, Visual Snow Fund, uh, because um, uh, the governments won't um, won't pay for the research. So, giving extra money for the research to Dr. Shankin to Dr. Godsby is a very positive thing. So basically. Um, I think that if you uh, just give a small donation, maybe your family members can also give a small donation. That will be much of a help. Uh, uh, I also want to ask uh, Ben Vigmans to uh, upload this uh, video on YouTube. And again, thank you for watching this uh, short video and goodbye. Bye.